this is um, a reproduction of the Dirty uh, Express project, or one of the Dirty Express projects. And uh, I'm uh, for the, uh, yeah, this is, uh, was a series I did with live and dead circuits. And uh, this one in particular was uh, more about uh, death. And uh, so I did some, now I did a series of reproductions for so. Uh, I, so you can uh, buy these if you want. Uh, so there's a few different ones that I made. It's very aesthetic. And now this video, this video will be about the kit version. So we're going to build uh, this uh, one of these, and then I'm going to show you how to do that, so you can, um, yeah, assemble one. So this is what's in the bag: the circuit board, and that's some extra solder, like bigger solder for later. And we got some. SMD components, mostly SMD components. These are the spacers, oh, yeah, the white things, spacers, they're also for later. And through hole chip, and some, uh, <coughs> yeah, some cutoff legs from <coughs> resistors. So let's put let's put some of the SMD components. And use small uh, thing like this, and then just throw them all on the circuit board like this. Up. Up. I'm going to use um, lead, solder with lead because it. Um, it's easier to work with. So I'm spreading these around a bit. They're nice. Uh, it's nice if they're in the also in the, in the corner. There's some components, so they're a bit spread out all over the place. When you when you solder, then try to avoid soldering in these holes here, because that's where the spacer goes when it's uh, ready. You know, then we put in these holes. We put uh, uh, the spacer uh, for uh, yeah, for so you can mount it onto something, or you can put it on the table. Or they stick to the solder so you just move it around to, towards the socket and uh, then 
<coughs> it kind of moves by itself towards the right place where it should be. So now let's add some uh, other things. So now I'm adding some uh, ICs. I'm also spreading the chips around a bit. So I like to some, sometimes put them also a bit still on the foot on the their footprints where they uh, where they well they're not these are not the, f the footprints that are made for uh, for these chips uh, they're too big mostly but yeah. In the previous, in like the first version of this, uh, not the, uh, and the, these were separate circuit boards, so there are, these are lines here, and then I would solder over these places here on the edges of the lines, so the circuit board board would stay in in one piece. But this one has has the um, has got a V scoring, which is a thing that PCB companies do, so that it makes a, s a score here, so you can break it, like just break it into pieces. But if you don't break it, it stays in one piece, so it doesn't need these, uh, it doesn't need the chips over the over the borders to uh, make it stay in one uh, one piece. Yeah, I guess it's it's nice if it still looks a bit like it was an attempt to uh, to uh, to do it right, you know, to um, to actually make a functioning circuit board. But it, it's not necessarily it has to be like that, of course. It's also got some of these headers, so let's place them in some place that you. 
you like. There's also this long header. Yeah, it's very big. I guess now it still fits here. But it's a very big one. I I'm not sure if I like it or not. What should I do with it? I don't know. I can cut it into smaller pieces as well. Just, you know, like this. Just snap. But maybe I maybe I want to try because it still fits here it seems so I can try to just jam it in here the really big could be nice So now I'm just tagging it a bit so it stays uh, put and then later in the oven it will there uh, we're gonna put some solder over it and then uh, it's gonna be <coughs> it's gonna look very different I think so we got two of these dip chips uh, I'm gonna put them one on this side one on the other see if it's uh, looks a bit uh, uh, this one I still didn't solder I guess it can be nice like this it's a bit balanced let's try that This one is a bit close to the border. That's okay. Uh, let's solder this one in place. This could be stuck somewhere here. Oop. Yeah. This one is also loose here, I think. Yeah, now it's also stuck. That's good. Or oh, maybe we should put this on the side. Up. That's nice like this looks uh, like it's fall fell over a bit yeah that's uh, nice so now we still got the resistor legs that, that are in the bag so let's just put those over it Oop. Uh, I like to tag them also a bit uh, to the circuit board because later when we uh, when we're going to uh, we're going we're actually yeah we have to solder the big the big blobs of solder still so then um, yeah it's nice if they if they uh, if they're also over this uh, here you see they're over the over the head big header it's nice because see then uh, becomes uh, a bit three-dimensional like whoop We still got a, a small chip here. Let's see if we can move it onto the header as well. We can put it here. It's a bit stuck on it, hanging on, hanging on the header. So let's uh, see if there's some loose stuff here. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, he's still got a lot of loose stuff. Now we can, can put some some more chips uh, on the header, maybe. That's uh, nice. Oh, guess we have to use. Oh, uh, it's stuck in here. Where is it going? Okay. This one. Let's put that here. Where is it? Uh, is it hanging on? Hanging? Hanging in the air here? Why not? For the for the next step, we're going to add the the bigger solder pieces. They're already a bit. Uh, there, there's some flux on it already, so to help it, uh, yeah, dissolve good uh, more easily. Already put that on it. Now I'm also going to add a bit of uh, the thin, uh, yeah, a bit of the thin solder. Well, a bit. You be generous with it. It's uh, the more solder, the better. Uh, it's kind of uh, for this thing. you want you can also cut uh, cut it up up into smaller pieces the bigger rods and uh, yeah let's see how this goes when we going to melt it yeah so i got a good uh, mask that can uh, doesn't let in the fumes and i got a heat gun for melting uh, yeah for removing paint and i got my soldering iron just in case Normally I would put it in the reflow oven, but it, probably you don't have a reflow oven. And maybe you got this thing, or otherwise you just have to use your soldering iron, it can also work.
as you can see it looks very nice but I made a bit of a mistake because there's not enough holes for these spacers for it to stand straight like it doesn't uh, it, it's not balanced so there's a hole uh, under here there's a hole here that needs to be a bit cleaned and this one is ready just for the spacer so I'm going to uh, or peg I think so I'm going to remove the the solder over this hole it's a pity because it looks very nice so that's a bit of a pity but that's what I'm going to uh, try So now we're going to uh, clean it. We're going to use paint thinner, again uh, the mask for the fumes, also some eye protection and face uh, protection, and hands protection, gloves, and uh, yeah, like a paintbrush to wipe the circuit board, and uh, and also a towel. Actually, it's not in the picture, but there's also a towel to remove the thinner. in a bit
has a fine lip, no for you to put in brush. We go into some just of the roots places. So this is the result, what we made. I think it looks nice. You can still add some fine tuning somewhere, uh, make some changes, but I think it's, it looks good enough.